Good morning, Pastor Ray here with The Daily Bread. God is good. It is Wednesday, and today, uh, Acts chapter 16, continue reading yesterday, singing in chains. Today, we're going to see the blessing, amen, of maintaining your testimony. Uh, let's read it and see what we can learn, verses 26 through 34. Amen. And so let's get into the Word of God today. Suddenly there was a great earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now when he had brought them into the house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed God with all his household. All right. So remember yesterday, uh, Paul and Silas, they got their beating <laughs> for preaching the gospel, then they're put into the prison, and then they're singing at night, giving praises to God, and then the prison is shaken, all right? And so that's like uh, God was there is kind of what that means, right? God was there. And then we know God was there. Why? Open doors and loose chains, right? Open doors and loose chains. And, and, and this is incredible to me uh, because what follows after this, you know, it's not that the prisoners ran out, but it, it shows us that when, when God moves, man, listen, people's hearts are open, right? Like, like they're receiving it. It's like, that's the open door. And then they're getting saved. Those are the loose chains, right? It's like, yes. And, and, and what a wonderful picture because what follows this is the jailer, right? The one who's holding them in jail. He's going to kill himself because he thinks all the prisoners left, but that's not what happened. Uh, they all stayed there and Paul cries, Paul yells out to him, hey, we're all here. Don't kill yourself. Somehow he knew that he was going to do that. The jailer ran in. And, and what must I do to be saved? Oh, boy. When people say that, that is a different thing, right? What must I do to be saved? Not, uh, uh, you know, oh, you know, well, maybe when I get to it, um, uh, me, me and God, you know, we have our thing together. But, you know, uh, later for that going to church stuff and, you know, it's like, you no, know, when, when God's moving, people are open, right? And that's why we pray, right? Because it's like we need God to move on people. God to open their hearts, God to touch them, God to minister and to loose the chains and to uh, open the doors of their hearts so that the gospel message can go in. That's why we're praying together. That's why we're asking God to help us. And uh, it's a, it's, that is the most wonderful thing to see. And uh, when people are receptive, they're open to the gospel message, that's powerful. That's powerful. So that's what we see in our text, right? The prison doors are open, the chains are loose, symbolic of what was to come. This man's house is going to be open to the gospel, and then they get saved, and they're rejoicing in God. And then he pours out a blessing for um, Paul and Silas. It says that he washed their stripes. It means that they got licked pretty good, man. Probably bandaged them up. This is all happening in the middle of the night. And then when and then so they're up, they're happy that you know that it's like time doesn't even exist, man. When God's moving, it's like all you want to do is just just be in God's house, do God's thing. It's wonderful. And so God works and He moves, opening this uh, jail and you know. But come on, it's it's because they kept their testimony. They were praying, they were singing, even though they were in the lowest prison, they were giving God the glory. And then boom, God moves. And so. Uh, open doors and loose chains and that's what we're asking for right isn't that a wonderful thing to see when you've been praying for somebody and then all of a sudden their heart is open uh praying for a people a city wherever you are you're asking god god please open their door listen when the doors are open 
you have to walk through them. When the chains are loose, you have to put them off. But, and so this is the challenge, right? Looking for the open door, people who are open and receptive to the gospel. And so I want to encourage you in that. Keep your testimony. Um, what does it say? Do not lose heart in doing good, for in due time you will reap. And I believe that. Amen. And so uh, the Lord bless you today in Jesus' name.